Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. Today I am going to be showing you the Climb 2. It's finally released today. I know you've been waiting for so long. It's a game that's loved by the community and I'm excited to share it with you. I'm going to keep the intro briefer than usual. Normally I'll talk about what the game has to offer, but I'm actually going to do that and demonstrate it whilst actually playing the game so you can see what I'm talking about at the same time. The Climb 2, as you probably already guessed, is a climbing game. You have these beautiful landscapes, these beautiful environments, and you have to climb and reach a checkpoint. You can race against your friends, there's unlockables, there's wearables. I'll show you all of this in game. And if you want a chance to win the Climb 2, I do have a giveaway and I'm going to announce it in the next couple of days, so it's not a long one. So I also have an Oculus Quest 2 giveaway and Swarm early access as well so there's so much there there's a link in the description enough chin wagging let's get started so it's, this is the home menu you have options the leaderboard for best scores achievements and gear and this is the menu where you can choose the map that you want to play i believe north america a tutorial i do recommend if you haven't played the game before the alps nice and snowy Bay, stunning, a bit like Thailand, the canyon of course, and back at the city. The city might be one of my uh, favorite though. I get such mirror's edge vibes from it and it's quite, it's like a modern city, not some, some dingy run down one. As you complete some of these levels, if you go to gear, there are all of these unlockables. They don't, they're not in order. You'll have to search for some, like there we go, as you unlock them. So you can have different style gloves that you can choose. I've got some white ones on. Hey. Get in touch with the uh, with my feminine side a bit. Some watches. Don't have any watches though, but watches is here. It'll, you'll monitor your time on the watch. Uh, the wristband that you'd like. That seems pretty damn cool, which is here. I've got fresh and the gender, skin, and color. So, and we've also got achievements. So if you want some replayability, you say you've just you've played the game, but you want an additional challenge. This is definitely the kind of game where you have an objective and you try and achieve it over and over again. Here, here, well, it shows you if you complete this, you will have this unlockable. So you can challenge yourself, come here, pick something, and then try to complete it. Oh, they look quite nice. I like those. Oh, was that a Casio? Rock on! <laughs> Right, let's play some levels. I, let's play City. I love the city. So this is the leaderboard section just before actually diving into a game. You can have it casual, where there's no stamina, or you can do professional, where you have stamina and you have chalk, a bit more realistic. And what's quite interesting is you can choose some of the times on the leaderboard and race them. Woo, game attack and BMF. Right, let's, give, let's, let's, let's try and race one of those. Let's try and beat their score. Let's do this. Race. <laughs> Fight! Right, it begins. So, just as a little introduction of how this is actually going to go down. As soon as I grab, the time here is going to start. So you have chalk on your hands, and that will deplete every time you grab something. So you, what you do is you grab the uh, the triggers or the grips, and you shake your hand. That will chalk them up again to make sure that you've got grip. You've also got stamina on each of your hands. So you, if you're holding one-handed and you run out of stamina, you will fall. If you hold the grip, just like a half pull of the trigger, there's a sweet spot where you won't lose any stamina. So there's some there's some kind of like management here you have to be aware of or you are going to fall. Um, <sighs> right, I'm racing as BMF, let's do this. Look, there's his hands! You can see his hands! <laughs> I can see his run. All right, let's, let's do this. Oh, the... Let's go over there. Can I? Let's do the leap. Leap! Oh! <laughs> Sweet, that's a checkpoint. Leap! Oh, I do love the leap. It's funny. Let's go over here. Where do we want to go? Can I? Can I make that? Yes. Let's do that. Yeah, boy. Oh, we're going monkey bars. I do like the way the game likes rotate your orientation as you're going a certain way. It kind of trips me out every time it happens. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Up we go. Ding, ding, checkpoint. Both of those in my hands, let's go. Ah! It's a long way down. Do not play this if you're scared of heights. And if you let go, it will slow down. Oh, can I do this from here? Can I go for the leap from here? Ooh, that's uh, that's gonna shave some time off, isn't it? Let's grab that corner. Oh, there we go. The oh, that's a stylish building, isn't it? The little bits of pink matches my gloves. Not intended. 
But across the windowsill. Like, the more I play this, the more kind of, like, enjoyment I'm getting out of it. And it's one of those games, like, the more you play and the better you get at it, the more rewarding it's actually going to be. Right, uh... There, there we go. Right. <sighs> Big leap. <gasps> Made it. Made it. I had faith the whole time. Oh, I'm not going to sit on the checkpoint. There we go. Let's go across this wire. Oh, and let's slide down. <laughs> if you get lost, there is a button here. If you press it, it should show you a route to go. And there's multiple routes as you're playing that you can actually take. <laughs> Love it. Up. We're going up. Wrong way. Let's go. Right, leap. Oh, I love the leap. There's a bit of this map I love with suction cups. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. No spoilers. Right, we made it. Let's go up. Let's go up. Uh, <laughs> well, something, something. I got, if I was cleaning windows. Do you remember that from uh, PlayStation 2 eye toy? You have to wash the windows. Lick them. Wipe them. <laughs> Uh, I toy, what a classic throwback. Some of the times of the people on this game are insane. Look at the top of the leaderboard. They are virtual reality parkour nutcases. <laughs> this is quite impressive. All right, let's do this. Suction cup. Boop. I'm ready. Boop. Leap! <laughs> the leap's just addictive. If I, if I don't make it, it doesn't work out too well for me. But I just, I love the leap. <gasps> no! Ooh. There we go. Let's go up. Yeah, that's gonna fall. Good, good, good. And we could go up that way. But let's go the riskier route, shall we? I can't believe I made it. Let's go up. Oh, fantastic. Look at the views. I need a holiday, and this would be a great place to go. But I don't know if I'll be doing this on my holiday. Maybe. Maybe. It seems quite fun. Or maybe in virtual reality, at least. I'll play the climb whilst the way. It's a bit of a shoulder workout. You're always like reaching up and looking up, so it's like constant. So your shoulders do get a little bit of a, a bit of exercise in this. Oh, this looks like a challenge. So everything rotates. Oof. Nearly didn't make that then. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to make that then. Oh, I love the leap. Five thirty five. <laughs> I won the race. Oh, baby. Happy days. Now you can take the views in. Bit of Assassin's Creed style. Can't jump off the edge, though. Happy days. So, where am I, where am I going to be now? Continue. But where was that? There I am! <laughs> Number 21, happy days. This one, f this guy is nuts. 148, stunning. I do have a grub though, like in the background, you can see that it's like an image. Trees aren't moving, huts aren't moving, but there's just, there's a bit of life up close. 
it kind of gives uh, the world a bit more, something a bit more abundant. As you'll see, in the, uh, you'll see in this one now, look, this is a rock. We're climbing on rocks rather than stuff in the city. So every environment is going to be something slightly different. And you can just take any other, any route you want. Let's go, but let's go up. Let's go up. Chalk. Chalk. Jolly good. Yeah. Oh, you like to see that? Two fingers holding on. Okay, let's go under. Chalk up. Nearly fell. That's a, that's a, you're not going to make that, are you? 127 hours. Okay, here we go. Oh, we made it. Ooh. Don't fall. Oh. See, it's a lot harder with the stamina because you, you're you not conscious of it. You're conscious of grabbing stuff. And then to grab that sweet spot, that little blue, the light touch of the trigger, it's also difficult. Because then if you don't grab it enough, it's going to fall. We're doing good, we're good, we need to chalk up. As we go. Yes. Ding, ding. Right. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Forget, I forgot that that uses it up. Here we go. Around the outside, around the outside. Where am I going? <laughs> Love it. You get a little bit of like, oh no, a bit of fear sinks in at that point. Definitely need to chalk up. Oh, we're near the checkpoint. Come on. Ah, straight up. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that was a, used a lot of strength. Up. Ah. Next checkpoint to go toward the top of the mountain. That, that's where we're going. Where we're going, we don't need chalk. I think, I think we do, Doc. Right, here we go. Tired there, Stevie. Chalk up. Ooh, <laughs> that was nearly a slip. Where should we go? Let's go this way. Oh, weak, weak, weak. Now this. Well done. Oh, we're nearly there. To the top. 538, not bad, on pro mode. Woo there is that kind of like feeling of relief once you make it. Woo! So that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Coming to check out The Climb 2. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you liked the look of this game. Please consider subscribing as well, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.